Hello, this is Sarah Wallace with the CMSD Fab Lab, and this is a video on how you can use Canva to create SVGs for 2D cutting. So how we can create files that we can take into our Glowforge app or Silhouette Studio to fabricate our designs. So remember, an SVG is a scalable vector graphic. It's something that we can resize up and down and we won't lose any um, quality of the image. We can use them in Glowforge, we can use them in Epilogue, we can use them in lots of different ways. Um, you can create your own SVGs in a design software program like Corel Draw, which is uh, a paid program, or Inkscape, which is a free downloadable program, but it is a little complicated. We do have intros on how to use Inkscape. You can find navigate to this page and watch those videos and figure that out, or we can kind of start with the simple part, which is using Canva. Um, you do need to have the educator or pro account of Canva to be able to do this. And just as a side note, um, if you are going to purchase files for purchase SVG, SVG pre-made files, make sure you do that on Etsy. Um, then you're probably buying them from a person who made those files. And if you buy an SVG on Etsy, you can upload it into Glowforge or into Silhouette, or you can use it on another brand of vinyl cutter or laser cutter. Um, versus just buying it in one place and not being able to have a more versatile file. Okay, so we're going to be designing a, a door hanger today that you could use as your hall pass um, or just as like a name tag for your room. Um, and we're going to go through that process in Canva. So your Canva page, when you log in, you should, um, if you're logged in as a teacher, you should say that you have an education account over here. Or you can have a, a pro account and be able to do this process too. So we're going to start by creating a new design, clicking this purple button up in the upper right, and we're going to go down to the bottom and choose custom size. You can change the uh, pixels to inches, and then you're going to enter 12 by 12. Most laser cutters um, and vinyl cutters can accommodate a 12 by 12 workspace, which is why we're going to use that kind of basic size. If you have a Glowforge, that space is 12 by 20, so if you wanted to increase it, you could. Um, but like I said, 12 by 12 is a kind of good start. Now we're going to be making that little keychain, or I'm sorry, that little door hanger. So to do that, we're going to start, need to start with our rectangle. We're going to go over on the left. These are so our left side toolbar with all of these different tools that we can use in Canva. We'll choose the elements tool. And then down here, we have lines and shapes right in the middle. There's other options. There's graphics, there's stickers, there's photos, there's lots of stuff. We want to click on See All for lines and shapes. And this is going to show us all these different lines and shapes that are going to be very easy to use for vectoring. I'm going to choose this square that has the rounded edges. That's a nice shape for um, a door hanger. When I click on it once, it's going to show up in my design. So I have this orange square. First thing I'm going to do is make it a little more door hangery shaped. So I'm going to make it eight inches tall, about, doesn't have to be perfect. So 8.1, that's fine. And then I'll make it about four inches wide. There we go. So now we have our four by eight rectangle. Now we need to change the color and the outline of this shape. All of our designs when we're designing for two dimensional cutting, cutting or engraving need to be black, white, and blue only. So I need to choose my shape and then you can see when I click on the shape, I get this shape menu up at the top here. The first option is the color. So it's currently orange. I'm gonna click on the color and I'm gonna choose this no color option. It's kind of grayed out with a line through it. That'll make the shape go away. It is now transparent. The next thing I'm going to change is the outline. So right next to the color in the shape option is the border style or outline. You have some different options here if you want to make it a dotted line or how thick. All we need to do is choose the solid option to give our shape a nice solid outline. And we're all set. Now we have the outline of our shape and it is transparent with a black outline. Next we're going to add the circle that we're going to use to actually hang this door hanger. So back over in my lines and shapes over here, I'll choose the circle option. Now I have that bright orange circle again. I'm going to change the color of it as well. So back up here to color, choosing the grayed out option with the red line for no color. And then for the outline, a solid border. So now I have both my rectangle and the circle solid or transparent, no color and with a solid outline. 
Next, I'm going to change the shape of this circle. If you want it to be a door hanger to hang on your doorknob, you want it to be about a three inch diameter circle. If you just want it to hang on a nail or a hook in your classroom, you can put that down to about a one inch circle. So now I have a small white circle, um, and I'm going to move that up here towards the top. It doesn't have to be perfect, but that looks good to me. Next, we're going to add the text to our door hanger. Back over on the left hand side with our tools, we have the text option. I'm going to choose text and then I'm going to choose add a subheading. That'll give me this blue add a subheading text in the middle of my page. I can double click on it to erase that and then I'm going to type Fab Lab and we're in room 204 of the East Professional Center. You can type your school name, your classroom name, your name, whatever you'd like on there. Um, up here at the top, when you highlight the text, you can choose the different fonts that you'd like. So we've got lots of different fonts that are preloaded in Canva. If you are uh, vectoring, so if you're going to be laser cutting and then thus engraving this part of the design, any font can do. So you could, if you really wanted to, you could use this kind of fancy looking cursive -y font. Um, that would not be a good font for uh, vinyl cutting. If you're going to be using a plotter to cut this out, um, I would not use a skinny font like that. I wouldn't use um, anything too like cursive or jaggedy. That's or anything with really, really skinny pieces like this one. That's a little too cursive and like frilly. Um, so vinyl, you want a nice bold font that's going to be easy to cut and easy to weed. If we're uh, lasering though, you can choose whichever font you'd like. Let's go with Zing Rust Base. That's kind of fun. Okay, so now I've got the font that I like. Next, I want to choose my color. We are engraving this part, so I'm going to choose it to be blue. Remember when we're making stuff with um, Canva, when we're creating SVGs, the black lines are things that are going to be cut out, and the blue parts are things that are going to be engraved. Now I can click on my text and use these little white circles in the corners to make it bigger, and then recenter it, put it right in the middle, I'll put it down here. That looks great. Next, we're going to add an icon, so a picture that will be engraved or a sticker that we could add to this shape. To do that, I'm going to go back over here in my left-hand toolbar and choose Elements again. Now, I'm still in that Lines and Shapes menu, so I'm going to go back, and then this is going to be give me that Search Elements option up at the top. Now, you can choose whatever element you want. If you're a science teacher and you want to put goggles on there or like a periodic table of elements, you could do that. If you're an art teacher and you want to put a paintbrush or a palette, that's fine too. Um, I, as the Fab Lab, I'm going to put some gears in there. So I'm going to type gears and press enter. And then it's going to give me all those options again. Graphics, photos, videos, audio, all that different stuff. I'm going to choose graphics at the top. Or I can choose graphics and see all right here to just show me all graphics. Now you can see some of them move. Um, that would be cool if we were making a video, but we're not. We're making something that we're going to fabricate. So don't pick something that moves. I can choose any one of these. Um, we'll go with this one today. So I clicked on it once. Sorry, I right clicked. And I clicked. There we go. Oh, I got two of them now. Um, and you can see it's kind of grayed out on my shape. Remember, this is going to be engraved again. So we're going to go back up to the color and choose the blue. So everything is blue that we're engraving, black that we're cutting. And then same thing as the font. I'm just going to resize it so it fits nicely onto my um, door hanger. And I'm all set. I have a nice door hanger. The black lines will be cut out, so the outside of the shape and the hole, so I can hang it on a hook. The gear will be engraved, as will the Fab Lab and my room number. The next thing we need to do is export. So to export this design as an SVG file, we're going to go up to the upper right and choose Share. Here, there's lots of different ways we can share files. We can send them to people via email or add them um, if they're part of our team. You can share it on social media. You can print it and uh, pay for it to be printed out. But what we're doing is downloading. So we clicked share. Now we choose download. From here, there's what different ways we could download. So under the file type, there's lots of different files we could download. We need the SVG file. So I'm going to select SVG. And this part is important. Make sure you choose transparent background. Once you've selected that box, we'll choose download. And now it's going through the process. And you can see that popped up right there on the bottom of my screen that um, it says add a subheading because I forgot to t title it. I should have gone in here and titled this Fab Lab Door Hanger. 
Uh, and then if I had gone down and downloaded it as an SVG with a transparent background, now when it comes um, and downloads, it'll download with the correct name on it, so I don't have to change that. Now we have this FabLab door hanger SVG file. It is ready to go. You could uh, open this in your Glowforge app for laser cutting. You could import it to Silhouette Studio if you wanted to make this into a vinyl sticker or if you wanted to cut it out of paper um, to hang up as like a, uh, for a bulletin board or anything like that. We also have a videos on how you can use that Glowforge app as well as Silhouette. If you need help navigating that, just reach out and we'll give you, um, give you some help. Have a great day. Have fun making.